Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordem and we are back for some more Rogue Trader. So in between episodes, I actually thought about maybe changing some of the, um, the weapon layouts for my characters here. And I was specifically thinking about Argenta. But given that she has a heavy bolter plus a regular bolter. Now, I do like both of these weapons, but it does feel a little bit redundant to me to have two bolters. So I was considering giving her uh, the sniper rifle again, so that she could use single shot fire from this weapon, and then she would use burst fire from the heavy bolter. Uh, I actually thought about it, and then I went back on my idea. Uh, the only reason for that is that if I want to burst twice, this will cost me 3 AP to burst, while this one only costs 2 AP. So I feel like it might be a little bit awkward sometimes to do that. But, you know, now that I mention it, let's be honest, I'm, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see if it works, because I was also looking at this weapon here, the hunting rifle, which gives more damage against larger enemies. And it has a 40% additional hit chance, which could be very good for um, for Cassia. Although I'm not really using her AP to, to shoot anybody, but I would like to try to give this to Cassia and get the long last to Argenta. Which, as I have discussed also in some comments, I do believe now that this is probably the best weapon you can give Argenta in the early game because her bolter really doesn't have a lot of accuracy and I think this would be the better choice uh, before swapping to bolters. I also wanted to explore this one here, the arc rifle on her, but again, it only has single shot and the single shot costs 2 AP. Eh, it makes me a little bit anxious. <laughs> in any case, we're going to try this out and see how it works. So, we were exploring this area, we have examined this transmitter, this looks to be kind of an arena, so I expect an ambush here. Let's see if that's the case or not. And of course, mm -hmm. but the enemies are actually... Oh. This is not good. Oh god, because this is riddled with traps all over the place. Okay, this is bad for me, because if I want Avalar to do something, he's gonna have to walk over traps, which, you know, doesn't seem lovely. They are based on Lord Xenos to disarm, which I think is our lowest skill check out of everybody. So 30... 70, 30, 30, 30, 60. And it's not great. Okay, so let me see. I would think that if Abelard would be able to reach any of these turrets, it would probably be these two. Uh, kind of thinking if he can pass through here. No, this is not... This is actually not um, a traversable area. Oh, it's actually impossible for him to cross this. Without triggering a trap. What about... Okay, there's there's no way to reach the turrets without stepping on traps. Which sucks. Well, I guess I'll still place him... What, like here? But not you, Cassia. Um, Abelard. He has his Melter Gun. Which might do something. Uh, God, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay, so I, I would think... I can go behind this cover here. Though I'm exposed to that guy. Yeah, this, this sucks very much. Okay, so I would like Argenta in a spot where she can shoot basically everybody. She, she's always exposed. Maybe if she's here... It's, it's really never great. I would love to go here. She would have cover from every side. But... No bueno. I guess for right now, just stay over there. And Pascal stays over there. 
And Edita. Where do you go, Edita? I guess you can go over here. We are very... We're very bunched up. Which I don't appreciate at all. My other line of thinking is if I could place Argenta in a in a spot where she could burst down an enemy quickly, but they have so much HP, she won't be able to kill them straight up. Seven deflection also, yeah, this is gonna be she's not gonna do much here. She is not going to do much here. I'm kind of wondering if they can be stunned. We had a fight previously with turrets and they were stunnable mm. <clears throat> okay you also can't be here because otherwise she's gonna shoot Idira or be in cover okay go here instead I think well I I don't like this for the record but <laughs> Let's see what we can do. And I feel like I want to give... Idira the earlier turns. Because she deals warp damage and they do take damage from warp, I would expect. Yeah, artificial, immune to prone, fatigue, disturb, perplex, staggering, bleeding, toxin. Oh, and mental damage. We have to be careful about that. So maybe not Idira? I could give the extra turn to Cassia. And see what she can do. If she doesn't do anything offensive, at least she can buff my friends. Okay, you are gonna die to this turret, but I don't have a choice. Not okay, a problem well, let's for see. me. <laughs> okay, so bring it down does nothing. I think it's because of CZ initiative or something. We just wasted our turn. Good. Um all right. So let's see. I would like to give cover possibly to these two sure no i want no never mind i want cover here i am a navigator i want more range cover. damage here and i guess i can give everybody armor over here it's ne never a good spot man if i may Okay, so let's see. I can only target one of them with this, not both. What if you came over... No, she's gonna step on the trap like that. Okay, what if you go... I beg your pardon. Don't... What? 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 Oh, no, she tried to disarm the... No! Well, there goes my turn. Nice. Step aside. No, don't the move over there. Is coming. I'm messing everything up. You don't <laughs> okay. frighten me. This was the extra turn from Cordant, I guess. I I messed up everything. Lovely. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna try to stun this one and then stun that one. Uh, my only issue is that she's gonna be vulnerable to everything. So I'm thinking about actually moving over here. And see if I can stun this guy. Okay. Battlefields are always drowned. Initial turn is completely messed up, but it is what it is. You can move faster than that, Cassie. Come on. <sighs> what is your problem, dudes? What what was the issue? It's right in front of you. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Now it works. What the hell? 
Okay, so not stunned. Well, since nothing works properly, let me see if this doesn't work properly either. Isn't this a job for the serfs? <laughs> you can move turrets! Oh my god, you can move turrets. That's that's kind of amazing, I will say. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. Okay, well, Cassia, you're dead. What the hell are they shooting? It deals rending damage. They blew through Argenta's um, cover, which sucks, obviously. Okay, so I think these here <clears throat> I will try to handle with Cassia if she doesn't die right now. But she has a lot of HP. I don't expect her to die straight up. So... Maybe I'll move here with Argenta. She's gonna be safe from pretty much everything, I think. And then... And then what do I do? I'm thinking about single fire on this guy. And then wildfire with my other weapon. Okay. Let's try it. So, pew. Now, we swap to this. And we do... There's no point in doing devastating because they don't take... Well, I could have used devastating with the sniper rifle. I forgot about that. But they cannot be prone. So, I will go for concentrated. For the weak. Wildfire. Burst it. 44% chance, it's all the same thing. Okay, just shoot here. <laughs> well, <clears throat> she is racking up damage, which is a positive. Stop it! But she doesn't do much. Oh my god, 43 damage. Okay, that's bad. That is very bad. Pascal, I think you are going to be on giving everybody armor duty. I do believe that's going to be your job. <laughs> so, can I... I can target this there. Okay, so give him more stacks. I will make him pray just because. Let's get nine stacks of this. Okay, worked. Awesome. He can also kind of disarm traps. Well, he can try to, at least. And now I can go for giving everybody recoil reduction. I think that's a good choice. And try to reduce the damage coming from this guy here. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Mr. Cordum, what are we doing? Abelard is kind of screwed. I will either give more turns to Cassia to see if she can deal with these. Or I'm going to give more turns to Edita so she can start racking up Resolve and also try to heal our party. I think I will do that. Already so done. be my servant. Voice oh, of command. Take air of authority for extra resolve. I, can't do. I could also give her extra damage, but my stacks are very, very low right now. So there's no point in doing that. So I will just say, bring it down. Suits my purposes. And now we are going to get word of the emperor. I can't really reach a lot of my people here. So, who would matter most? Probably these three. Okay. What? Oh, was that you? And oh. now I would need to heal... Well, anybody needs healing, right? Everybody needs healing, I should say. I would say the most important person to stay alive is actually Dita. Because she deals warp damage. But of course. So, heal up. And I can either start working on damage 
Ah, oh, almost. Or I can use warp speed on somebody. If I were to use warp speed on somebody, uh, it would probably be Argenta. I think I'll just try... No, I'm gonna buffer self. Will do. Okay. Wait, how can you... Sorry, I'm confused. What happened? Why why do my things cost one less? I I think I know why. I think it's because of power conduit. But did I trigger psychic phenomena? I didn't notice. Okay, whatever, let's say yes. <clears throat> and I can give extra toughness, for example, to Mr. Abelard. And strength. And I can mark a spray, Anything like... Else? These turrets all over the place. <gasps> was, okay, was that pass. You? Or... I can simply shoot something. Or I can use take aim... I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I can assign objective. It's not going to work. Just shoot something. Already done. Wonderful. Okay, so Idira. Let's keep on stacking resolve. Anything else? We almost have an heroic act as well, which is important. I will try to heal Argenta. But of course. I'm a mentor. We have an heroic act. <laughs> Dude, why? Sorry if I'm confused, but why do I have 16 extra momentum? The wearer gains momentum equal to... Ah! equal to their resolve after triggering psychic phenomena or perils of the warp but again did i trigger them i don't i don't see myself triggering them but uh, i okay i don't know <laughs> i don't know uh what else can we do so i can use emperor's wrath and try to kill one of these straight up i can give warp speed to someone else And I still have one free action point. So I guess I can do this. On it. And then go for... Not the heroic act. This. Or actually let's start with warp speed on... Argenta for instance. Or Cassia. Was... Was that you? Or... And now we can go for the Emperor's Wrath over here. We'll do. Oh, okay. 113 damage. And do I want to use my Heroic Act version as well on this? I mean, I could. My other option would be to give somebody an extra turn... Or make them shoot twice. I'm not sure what's better, to be quite honest. I think I'll just use this right now. <laughs> if only you knew what awaits And you. blow it one up. We got a lot of momentum anyway. And do I want to reposition Idira? She has a lot of HP right now. So I think she's actually fine where she is. Just gonna pass. Oh, I'm getting an extra turn because... Okay, because she's an heroic act. That's true, that's true. So, for that... What do I want to do here, actually? I could give Cassia... More easy. stats. 
and even reposition to be a little bit safer, perhaps. Sure, go here. Now, Abelard, he's in kind of a, a troubling spot. I'm thinking about just making him safe. Well, not super safe, but somewhat safe. Unless he steps on that trap, which I don't want. So let's see. First of all, can I shoot something? No, it's too far away. If I came over here, I could, but I'm, I'm gonna be very exposed. Let me just look at the damage. Okay, this is not a fight for these people. This is a fight for Idira. So I just want him to be as safe as possible and not care about anything else. Follow okay, so go over there first. <clears throat> and now come over here. And now get Brace for Impact. Heal yourself with a med kit. Field medicine at its finest. Endure. And I think that's gonna be it from him, actually. Okay. Now, Cassia. You god damn. Okay. How does she have nine action points? Nobody knows. I guess ebb and flow. Plus Air of Authority, plus Warp Speed would explain three additional action points. That would be eight. And then an extra one coming from somewhere else. Okay, doesn't matter. So, Idira. You don't have the super cool thing yet. But she does. <clears throat> I'm gonna have more fun with this. Stupid! I love it. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay. Okay, they are not getting stunned. But it's not because they're immune, it's because they're very lucky. Okay, go again. Isn't this a job for the serfs? How dare you there is a lot of damage coming out. This one's stunned, this one is not stunned. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so I can give reveal the light to Edita, she's gonna be so buffed. God damn. Okay, so take that. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Jesus. Now, my only issue is if I give her an extra turn, she can't reach anybody. And that, that really is the main problem here, I feel. Is that she cannot reach anyone. I mean, she can toss out some heals. Let's see. Let's go for more resolve on everybody. Like this. Anything is. Okay. I think I will heal Argento over there. We'll do. Yep, we triggered. And... Oh, really? Wait, why? You can reach over here but not hit that? Come on. Oh, you can reach this. Oh, I forgot about that. Then, yeah. And it costs one less because we triggered uh, Perils of the Warp. Just don't blow yourself up, Edita, please. Uh, if I do this right, I can deal a lot of damage from pain channeling, I hope. Go for it. What an unfortunate turn. Blam blam? Wait, what is that? Oh, the <laughs> you know what this is? This is the wreckage from the, the things that died over there. Uh, but pain channeling didn't work. Oh, never mind. Pain channeling is mental damage. 
Never mind, this is the correct behavior. Why did I not foresee this? So what I can also do now is I can give the extra turn to Idira, which means she can move, reposition her and try to blow something else up. Okay, I can also move. So what if I came over here and... Let's see if we can do this. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Or does this block it? I don't even know what happened. Okay, I, th it, I think I hit it. Yeah, I did. And Idira... What? Okay, this is bug, right? Savor the kill. I didn't kill anything with Lidless Stare. But she still got an extra turn. <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna complain. I will just take it. I will just take it. But of course. So, if I moved over here, I can target anything, but this is closer to Argenta, so I'll focus on something else, like this guy. Pain and duty go hand in hand. It's fine. That died. I can try to have some fun with Notch of Purpose. <laughs> I am a navigator, not a servitor. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so stupid. I'll paint your she has 241 colors. hit points. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Not nothing busted over here. We'll do. Okay, so I would burst open this one. Goes up to 894 damage. Okay. What an unfortunate turn of fate. Mm -hmm. And since this is under the effect of... It's your... Uh, not your time next, but... Uh, the thing. I, I forget the name. She can attack however many times we want, so... <gasps> What's... Okay, we did lightning up somebody, but the fight is done. Edita was awesome, as expected. Uh, we only got one trauma, amazingly enough. Yeah, but if you want to defeat turrets, constructs, artificial life, warp damage is the way to go. Cassia and Edita are... suffered worse. My yeah, sing, sing your troubles away. Cassia and Idira are awesome for that. I, that my I have to keep my jokes? people away from jokes that once said the traps while trying to disarm them. Bleed and blood you aren't doing a great job, are you? Yes. We'll do or how much are we failing this? It's, it's basically a 50% a chance. Okay, but the best person to do this is Pascal, right? Yeah, it is Pascal. Okay, so... You guys just go over there and get away from here. Okay, you, can, you can even go all the way over there. It is my destiny to traverse the unknown. Wait, do I want to... Wait. Maybe if I do this first? This unsettling structure adorned in strange masks vaguely resembles the antenna of a powerful transmitter. At its base you see a cogitator and a few other devices. It seems that some part of the structure is buried underground. Okay, so... Awareness. Investigate the entire structure. 
You identify a number of elements of the structure, the long-range antenna of a design standard for imperial colonies, the cogitator, the Aldari beacon, and a half dozen other devices of varied origin. They all have one thing in common. This tech is designed to transmit basic signals to neighboring space, the most common being requests for assistance and ship distress codes. So, someone loaded this miserable place with transmitters from various races in the hope that someone would land here and run into their welcoming committee. Clever. I saw similar tactics used in my years in the Navy. True, in a war zone you are usually on high alert, you don't just hair off after a lone distress signal, but in an isolated place like this, you expect the most likely scenario, just a ship that had, that had to make an emergency landing. It looks like Plenty fell for it. But who would set such an indiscriminate trap? One intended to lure in Aldari and humans and anyone else? Who is an enemy to everyone and everything? Chaos? But Chaos doesn't use this. I don't think so. Let's force access to the Cogitator. You manage to penetrate the Cogitator's defenses, its function is rather simple. The program is designed to activate the transmitter once every five years and send out a ship distress signal into space. Um, so we can turn it off permanently. Which I think makes more sense. But this one is Iconoclast, which should progress my progression. <laughs> Pardon the redundancy. <laughs> In the Iconoclast 3. So I think I will try to blow up the structure. Succeeded. You set the charge carefully without a doubt. The structure will be destroyed with expert precision along with the underground part. Lost the melted charge, gained the experience in Iconoclast. Okay. I will take that. Awareness still. Okay. Let's see if we can get some... They still toss the, the stupid bombies. And he's failed every single 50-50 chance. Was that you? Or it's kind of amazing. Operation Thank you. Successful. My guy, come on, dude. Really? My whispers crave entertainment. And this is why I don't go to casinos. My knowledge has its limits. The machine god runs me right. No! Aha! We escaped! Knowledge is uh, real time with pause is much better for escaping traps. <laughs> no! Oh, damn it. You, you hit cordoned. You Should I divine our next step? It, it, it's fine. I'm not particularly worried because we're gonna go to the ship afterwards, so... It's not that big of a deal. But I did want the experience from... Um, Disarming traps. And okay, so awareness seventy percent. I, I did it. Okay, good. So, the explosion exposes the channel of a cable leading away from the transmitter. This is probably not the only element of the trap. We should sniff around here some more, Lord Captain. There should be a bunker, a control room, or something else that was used by whoever set the trap. Well, or maybe we have another fight. Let's see. This explorator is blessed with multifunctionality. Ooh. Okay, so this is whatever, but this makeshift heavy Xeno mesh. Sixty percent armor, four armor deflection. That is very nice. Plus two deflection against non-human enemies, and additional property plus five wounds. This is very good armor. <clears throat> is it better than yours? I doubt it. It's more armor, but less deflection. But it doesn't take away dodge. It gives me more wounds. Armor is percentage based. There's something to be said about that. And fellowship I don't really care about. Okay, <clears throat> so I go from 30 dodge to 32 dodge. Eh. 
I guess I'll try it. I do like the fact that it gives me extra wounds and 5% more armor. And we'll see how this goes. Um, okay. None shall stand in my way. So are these the cables? I think we saw this in the previous episode. It is impossible to determine who these bones belong to. Yeah. So Lord Zenos. My knowledge has its limits. <sighs> the third series of damage, nothing of value can be gained from it now. Well, we have more chances though. My success is oh no, they give me cargo. Interesting. Okay. What a shameful failure. And I do apologize about that first turn in the game where I messed up my actions completely. <laughs> the machine god grants me it was very silly. The skeleton in the K-Tech priest robes is missing its right leg. Judging by what remains of the bones, the leg was hacked off. It seems the person was still alive when it happened, and they reached this spot by crawling rather than walking. The motionless servo skull shows no sign of damage, looks like it hovered next to its dead master until its battery ran down. Okay, so what is it that they want me to explore that I'm not seeing here? My success is an irrefutable claim to the stars. Oh, wait. Intact components are scattered amidst the turret wreckage. Perhaps they could be useful. Do you require an audience? Okay. I'm I'm just curious because this is the only one... Oh, never mind. The, the hand symbol was still there after looting. That's why I was curious. So they said something about continuing to explore the area. I see cables, but the cables seem to be going towards the the turrets. I wonder if I Victory missed awaits. an awareness check around My here. Uh -huh. Oh. 50% chance. Never doubt me. Nice, dude. Okay. A new challenge for me. There is a bunker. Goods. I'm still new to the art of exploring. Okay, careful. <laughs> oh god, this is Lord Zeno's. We're None gonna fail it. Stand in my way. Do I have something that gives me extra Lord Zeno's? Lord Warp. Warp. Tech use. Commerce. No. Psychic power. 5% armor. Oh, Lord Zenos. Okay, so... Take it. Coercion. Lord Warp. And I think the cloaks don't give me any kind of lore bonuses. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, before I forget, <clears throat> you still have one use of this, so you can keep it there. And I think I'm actually gonna probably take one of these out and bring in another med kit. I think it's more useful. Okay. Well, show me what you got, Pascal. Oh! <laughs> I'll live another day. Okay, there was another trap around here. Successful. Wonderful. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. The dynasty. Follow my lead. Goods. Ooh. Anatomy Tome. The wielder gains a plus strength bonus plus intelligence bonus against damage 
For single attacks against human enemies, it also grants a 5 bonus to Medicaid. Kind of very specific, isn't it? Could you want it? Whenever the user where we use a non-attacking consumable item like a stimulant, medkit, etc., it counts as an attack. Okay. Knuckle guard plus five bonus to weapon skill. Armor penetration and damage. Yeah, I think I'm fine with what I have. <clears throat> the carcass of a strange creature. My knowledge has its limits. You suck, Pascal. This horrific unknown creature does not look like a typical inhabitant of this planet. Okay, this was a very hard test. And you I know what? This was likely weakness. dumb. What I what I should have done, and I'm sure some of you are already thinking it and saying it to yourselves, uh, but I feel like what I should have done was, instead of trying to use Pascal for this, Given that we had finished the fight, I, claim to the stars. I should have probably went to the ship, got Yirliet, and then have her come here and do the check. That's what I'm thinking. Experience? Nothing and matters. I might actually do that because me? I am curious. So you will pardon me if I do something a little bit strange here. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. And we are back. And what I was thinking was, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take Yiliet with me. And... I don't know if I need to level it up for this. I don't think I have to worry about that right now. Let me just see. What does she get with the level up? Okay, it doesn't matter for what we're gonna do. It's so let's go over time. here. Or wherever the... The passageway is. Here? Oh, here. How much does she have, by the way? She has 90. It's not that much of a difference to Pascal, to, to be honest. I mean, it is a bit, but not that much. Okay. So, I am only doing this because I only remembered this detail after the fact. Otherwise, I would just carry on and not do what I'm about to do. Oh, she can't even use the thing that gives her more um, Xenos. Okay. Okay. So, let me see this here. We're gonna go for... Reset Interactables. Apparently this isn't one. I have failed my kin. Or did she just... No, no, no. Okay, it was reset and she failed it. So I will take that. We will never know None shall stand in my way. who set this trap, my friends. We shall never know. An expected result. Okay, let's go over here. Return to the void ship. Okay, so uh, I th I believe we're done with this, right? We've done everything here. Yes, so we can leave. And where was I? Ah, I was going to explore Palatium Stellos as well. Yeah, okay, so the warp released us. Oh, no way over there. You suck. Okay, so what does this system have for us? Mm, a possible ship battle. Mm, 
No. I will try to do this right now. Quick save and test it out. I also have to look at my colonies. Yeah, okay. This is why. We got efficiency, complacency, and we got this trophy. And we can now start something new. Well, actually we can't because we don't have the prerequisites for any of this. Oh. I kind of forgot about this one. I mean, I kind of forgot to check if level 3 would also have requirements from the previous ones, and they do. <clears throat> well, it's fine. Janus. Same thing in Dargonus. I can do more stuff on Dargonus. This one blocks, so let's not do that. And decree on diligence. More efficiency, more provisions. Lose complacency. Sure. Okay. So, quick save in case this is a ship battle. Because I suck at ship battles. An unknown ship hails you as soon as you are in its detecting range. The ship, the Scarlet Pursuer helmed by Captain Demir Shani, has footfall listed as its home port. The message hints transparently at the connection with the Kasbali Commission. The Voxmaster adds that the captain has a proposal for you. Let's listen. The ship lets you know that they will readily reward you for any information about burning worlds in the Kronos Expanse. Why are you looking for burning worlds? The reply is, a cor is as cor uh, courteous as it is vague. The captain cites a scholarly curiosity in this understudy type of world. Upon hearing the message, Magos Pascal expresses a keen interest in Burning Worlds and asks the Lord Captain to take the issue into consideration. Jay Heydari immediately declares that Captain Shani would never dash about the void out of scholarly, scholarly curiosity, but only for a suitably high return. In that case, perhaps the Lord Captain too might want to look into those Burning Worlds. Hmm. Seneschal Wersetin makes no comment regarding the Casbolita message, but it but is amazed that, for once, the esteemed Magos and Mr. Saidari are in passionate agreement on something. Okay, so if two people are clearly against revealing information, I will just not give them. <laughs> Attack and plunder, no. Refuse to supply information on burning worlds and move on. Okay. So what? We're gonna have to double check on burning worlds now? Hmm. I am curious. The planet is laced with pulsating veins, stands woven from pain. But what are they? An oddity of the past or a warning from the future? Five, but Xenotech we don't have a lot, so sure. Let's extract. And finally... Intoxicating Elixir... Onslaught and Stim. Okay. Oh, this was a rumor. Wait. Oh! Huh? No, 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 no. What? Okay, so first of all, we have the Burning Worlds rumor now. Kasbalikan ship is seeking Burning Worlds as well. The purpose of their search is unknown. Ah, who left this here? It's a new rumor. The Rogue Traders crew discovered the cache in a frozen world. The cache was filled with suspicious substances. One can only hope the owner will not to be too aggrieved by their loss. Interesting. Unquenchable greed. Yeah, people for prof uh, provisions, no. Also, no. Uh, oh, I lost one. How did I lose one? Don't remember. Okay. So let's get out of here. And I actually want to check something out before we proceed. I want to speak with the High Fact Totem Janris Danrock because some time back 
we did complete a project that a project or a quest or something that gave us 5,000 reputation with every single faction. So I want to see if we have some new items to purchase. And there's something else I want to see. Um, what is it? This. <clears throat> Yes! Okay, so I did read in the most recent patch that they added sorting finally to to uh, the, the goods, which makes me very happy. We have a targeting visor. Why is this still here? Oh, maybe because I didn't have enough, but now I do. Okay. Increases the wearer's chance to hit targets to range of 10 or further by 20%. This is clearly for Yerliet. A power axe, which we cannot take right now. But I don't care about it anyway. Invigorating resolve. Whenever the wearer and allies in a two-cell radius gain momentum, they also gain an equal amount of temporary wounds. This can actually be very, very powerful for Indira. Because she does get a lot of momentum. A heavy plasma weapon. Which makes me consider giving it again to Pascal and changing his weapons again. Okay. <clears throat> so, the Drusians. Reconstructed Flamer Pistol. <laughs> Don't really care about this, but... Uh, what is that? What? Oops, sorry. When hit by this weapon, all melee attacks against the target gain 10% more critical hit chance and 15% critical damage for two turns. You know, this is actually interesting. Because this would be a good weapon for, Pas uh, for, um, for Abelard. Set somebody aflame and then bash them with the hammer or with an axe or with a sword. I think he just got a new weapon. Yep. Large med kits, I'll take it. War Origin Enforcer Carapace. Medium armor with 50% armor. 10% more armor against human enemies and 10% more dodge. This is wonderful for um, uh, Argenta. These boots grant their wearer a 15% dodge reduction bonus for attacks with melee weapons. This item grants the wearer a plus 5 bonus to parry reduction if the wearer has a Conviction Iconoclast, so this would be clearly for Abelard. All allies gain plus 10 plus 2 times the Iconoclast rank percent hit chance against enemies adjacent to the wearer. The wearer automatically dodges allies' melee attack. Oh, melee attacks. This could be very nice. For 2,300. Yes. Sort them for me, my friend. Sort them. Man, you know... The one thing I wish were here... And I may make a suggestion to Alcat as well... Is order by reputation value. Right? It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Uh, okay, so we're looking for holy gifts. Okay, so we have 1,000 right here. And then I'm looking... <laughs> you can never be happy for too long, can you? It's not working. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's another one over... Oh, my God. Okay, so 2,300. Do I have jewelry? Jewelry. Cool. So, give me that. And give me that. I'm not sure if I'm going to give new gloves to Abelard, but... It's good to know we have the option for it. So, yeah. Here, I don't care about it. Light armor with 35% dodge... Grants the wearer plus 20% dodge against enemies with perception lower than that of the wearer. Interesting. 
and 10% more dodge against range attacks. This is actually good. I would also require 2,000 reputation. Let me sort by name and see if that works. Or may Ah, I think I know what's happening. I think if we press hide and tradable, it removes the sort option. Yeah, oh god. Why do they do this, man? It, it's such an easy thing to do. Uh. Okay, so we don't have any more holy gifts to give them. What about heretic, heretic trophies? If this order is correct, then yeah, no, we don't have them. Uh, how much do we have? 7,350. Ship components? We have only one. And Mechanicus Creations, I think we have a couple, right? Yeah, okay, so I need 2,200. Fifty more. I can use miscellaneous for that. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Uh, whenever the weather shoots an ally as a target of their ability, the weather immediately gains fellowship bonus divided by two movement points. This is very good if it works with uh, the extra turn. The targeted ally gains fellowship bonus movement. It's sort of this ally's next turn as well. <clears throat> this can be very good. Each time the wearer spins 10 stacks of tactical adventure, they gain one resolve until end of combat. And it's usable. Do I want the Commissar boots? I think I might want them. Heretic trophies, Xeno artifacts. Okay, so Xeno, I think I have a few, yeah. So I need 1,220. Do I have jewelry? J, 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 J. J. 1,300, that's enough. Oh, it's not enough, I'm dumb. Mechanicus Creations. And what, like uniform kit? So I need 420. Oh my god, why do I keep doing the same thing again? I just forgot that I don't have profit factor for this. <laughs> well, let's find out finally what this does at least. Yo, where is my stuff? I already have one. Interesting. Yeah, I do. So what is this? The target must pass a willpower resistance test. If the test fails, the target suffers the staff power level plus the Psyker Psy rating plus 30% of the target's current wounds. Mental... Ah, uh, yeah, it's current wounds. So, no. And I'll take these even though they suck. Okay, so we do need more profit factor now. <laughs> Stop. Oh! It's discounted? I think it's because we did some kind of quest for them. Hmm. Staff of Endless Flames. Give me it. And this one would require quite a lot. Whenever... Ah, this is the prey thingy. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna bother with these now. And finally, this one. Ooh. Oh, we can get a lot of stuff now. Scrap box. I'll just take everything. So we have a shield that does the same thing that ours does, but this amount is doubled against enemy kinetic attacks. Perfect. <laughs> Gimme. Military Ceramite Voidship Plating. Protects the vessel from harm, negating 5 points of damage on each side. So it's one more point. Good. 
Griffin Pattern Torpedo Tubes. Five Plasma Torpedoes, so it's not short range. It's just five Plasma Torpedoes with 19 damage warheads. This is all upgrades, man. A long range broadside macro, uh, plasma macro cannons which fire three shots, dealing 21 damage per shot. It's not as good. Compound Void Shield Array. 120 points of protection instead of 80. Gimme. This is a very big upgrade, man. Uh, 80 points of protection goes up to 95 and doubled against enemy blast attacks. Okay, so we have 13 speed with low acceleration and braking to 12 speed along with strong acceleration and braking. So this should give me more maneuverability. I'll take it as well. Assault ceramite void shape, void shape plating. Ooh. Instead of 4 points, it negates 9 on the 4 and 5 on all other... This is, this is just... All upgrades, man. Sunhammer Lance Battery. Medium range Lance Weapon dealing 60 to 70 damage to a chosen enemy within a wide firing arc. That is... Lovely. It is medium range instead of long range. But I do like the extra damage and the wide firing arc. I will take that. And the 40 40s Pattern Torpedo Tubes. Uh, I don't understand. What is the difference between plasma torpedoes and short burning plasma torpedoes? I have to try them out. Okay, so 45 profit factor, I don't have it. Ooh, 5 melted torpedoes with 27 damage warheads. Ah, damn. Okay, very lovely. A lot of really nice stuff here. A lot of very nice stuff. Okay, I know we're past time on the episode, but I want to look at this first. So, Inferno. The Psyker unleashes a torrent of Psyker staff power level flaming projectiles, each dealing... So, it's multiple shots. Each dealing from one... To Psy rating plus the Psyker's staff power level damage. The projectiles have a 60% chance to fly along the central line and 40% chance to deviate to one of the lateral lines. So it's like burst fire. Creatures that are hit by two or more projectiles gain the warp burn effect. Deal Psyker's willpower bonus, which is very high, divided by two plus the Psy rating. Wait, what? Okay, damage the target at the end of their turn with 5 times starting percent armor penetration. The target creature must pass an agility resistance test with a minus 5 times psi rating penalty to stop burning. This could be interesting. And then we have Heroic Act, Inferno as well. 80% uh, uh, chance to fly along the central line. Okay. The wielder of this stuff, power level 7, gains the Inferno ability. This ability is also... Uh, power level effects. For every two creatures suffering burning in combat, the power level of this stuff is increased by 1. Uh, it's... I don't think it's ever going to be as powerful as the one we have right now. Because our scales with resolve, and we and we can increase our resolve quite high. It it does sound cool though, and setting people ablaze is kind of fun. But the amount of burning creatures in combat, it, it's for for every two, it's it's not very good. Okay, so they inflict bleeding. All ah, right, so what do you have? No, you are fine. I'm talking about Abelard. Where is Abelard? Ah. Yeah, plus 10 weapon skill and plus 5 strength. It's kind of tough. 
I think I'll keep these gloves at least at least for now, given that they are rounding out my strength value. And the boots granted a 15% dodge reduction bonus for attacks with melee weapons. Oh right, this, this, this. The armor is better than what she has. Lovely, very lovely. And this would be for yearly yet. This doesn't really matter. Unless I give it to Abelard. But he gets extra toughness from this, so no. Oh, come on. You can't use flame weapons. Oh, I'm so sad. Dude, come on. Ugh. Okay, I may actually give him flame weapon proficiency just for this weapon. And invigorating resolve. Whenever the weather and the allies and the sellers gain momentum, they also gain... Okay, so... What do you have? You have this one that gives you 4 maximum wounds, 10 toughness. Each round the weather generates wounds equal to the reticle rank. I think I prefer this one. And as for our ship... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave the ship upgrades for the next... Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> it's gonna be quick. I hope. Uh, so, how do I do this? Character, inventory... Uh, ship management, okay. So, the Sun Hammer Lance battery... Is for sure... Well, not for sure, but it seems to be better than this one. And I have... The Repulsor Shield, I, ha I think I have two. Strong Acceleration and Breaking, take it. 95 points of protection. Yes. I'm curious as to what the hell this short burning plasma torpedoes means. So I guess let's try them out. Okay, so I like that. I have one better than this. Oh right, but this one fires five torpedoes, so this this wins. Okay, never mind. Ooh, 120 points of protection. Yeah, I'll take that instead. Ceramite plating, gimme. Torpedoes. Long range lance weapons, I'm not gonna use them. Prowl battery, no. No. And I feel like everything that I have here is going to be worse than what I have. Ye uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Everything that I have is worse. Okay. <clears throat> so, this will be it for this episode, my friends. Why are you... Not here again. What is the matter with... Oh, wait. No, yeah. Why aren't you there again? St oh, what? what? I can upgrade? What? I'm confused. No, no, I'm... I'm removing everybody from their spot. Okay, what is this? Upgrade. It costs scrap. Hull integrity, no damage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, cooldown. From 1 to 3 goes down to 1 to 2. But why only some of them? Use current ability. Oh, I have to use it. Okay. Reloads all macro cannons and lances. That's powerful. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Just discovered some new things. Nice. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, this will be it for this episode, my friends. We learned a lot of stuff. We picked up some cool items. I am very strongly considering giving Abelard flame weapon proficiency for, for this flamer here. 10% critical hit chance and 15% critical damage for two turns on melee weapon attacks. Really cool. 
Um, uh, so yeah, as usual, my friends, thank you all for being here in the channel, watching some Rogue Trader. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more, many more videos coming out soon. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.